Hello and welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. My name is Todd Taylor with Advanced Rescue Solutions. In this episode, we're going to talk about using an ASAP lock as a belay. We're going to show two different ways of using it, one in a fixed belay and one where it's traveling with our rescuer. We don't have to use an ASAP lock. We could use a press X or other grab device. The ASAP lock makes this much easier. In this configuration, we have the ASAP lock set up static. It's important to remember to put the arrow going down. We're going to load the rope with the connection point going towards the hole. We're going to run it through a carabiner to ensure that it stays in a straight line. We can lock the ASAP lock. And in this configuration, the belay will travel down. But if we had a failure, the belay would lock. So we're going to run this with a rescuer. We're going to hook up the belay to the rescuer's back off the ASAP lock. We're going to hook him up to his main line. He's going to sit down. As he does that, everything is set and ready to go. We can lower and the belay is managed. In a raise, all we have to do is manage the rope. So as we raise the rescuer up, we manage the belay. An alternative way of using the ASAP lock as a belay is to hook the belay up as a static line. This time when we hook the ASAP lock up, we want to make sure that the arrow is up. We hook it onto the belay line. We close the ASAP lock, and then we would hook it on to our rescuer. And now as we lower the rescuer, the ASAP lock will travel. And then as we raise the rescuer, the rescuer will have to keep his hand on the ASAP lock just to mind it so that it comes up. In this segment, we've shown two separate ways of using the ASAP lock as a belay. One static on the tripod and one on the rescuer where we have it traveling. My name is Todd Taylor. Thank you for watching Fire Engineering's Training Minutes.